We usually put um, tarps over this in case it rains right. or in the case of the sun comes out and it starts drying everything up. So um, protecting it just a little bit. You can see that we've got a thermometer in the pile. So each pile has a thermometer. So we can monitor. Uh, we started this compost pile on um, when, Monday uh, this week. So this pile is, what's today's, you know, so we're a six day old pile. Mm -hmm. um, it has been turned four times. And uh, we have, you know, we ha um, write down the temperatures and the moisture in the pile and turn it when it needs to be turned. If it starts to smell, we know that we have to turn it because things are going anaerobic in there. Mm -hmm. We're always going to take at least three readings. You can see that this is 140. And um, it's really important to have um, stainless steel um, thermometers. And we've got, you know, it's about four feet long. So that uh, if we build a bigger pile, um, we can still get to the middle of the pile with this uh, thermometer. So now I'm going to go from a set from the side. And so I measure the distance to the middle of the pile, and I mark that place with my hand, and go down to the um, about halfway down, and I'm going to push it all the way in because I measured halfway. And so now we're, my thermometer is in the middle of the pile, and we're going to stand here and and wait for that thermometer to come to equilibrium. And while I'm waiting for the thermometer to come to equilibrium, I'm going to come over here and uh, pull a sample. And when it starts getting too hot, like right about now, ah, woo, 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 woo. cool it off. <laughs> it gets kind of fun. And I'm going to measure by squeezing again. No liquid coming between my fingers, no drop coming out. So this is less than 50%. Do I need to be adding moisture? I'm gonna open my hand up and you see how it's holding together. I can bounce it. Now, see how it's starting to fall apart a little bit? So now I know it's less than 45% moisture. So I'm somewhere between 40 and 45 over on this side. Um, if temperature is high enough for me to have to turn this, I would add a little bit of water as I turned but the temperatures aren't getting hot enough for me to have to turn today. I will probably have to turn this pile tomorrow. The temperatures will be back up. You've got to get the heat up above 131 and consistently above 131. You really don't ever want the temperature in the pile to drop below 131 because you stop harming the pathogens and the pests and the repeating nematodes, all those eggs of all those parasites and things. You gotta kill them. We gotta kill all the weed seeds, and that's the way you do it. You're gonna kill all seeds in the pile, maintaining temperature above 131. It's so important that people learn that because so many people are making compost, and there's no sterilization going on. Yep. So when you take that compost and you put it out in your field, all these weeds come up from the fact that that wasn't really compost. You can't call something that didn't get above 131 compost. You can't. It's so not what's the definition. compost to you? Just worm castings. It's uh, well, it's a different process of mm -hmm. killing the pathogens and the pests and the problem organisms. Except you're not getting above 131, so the weed seeds are all still in there. Weed seeds are all still. In and there. it's not going to pass through the earthworm's digestive system. So you really need to thermal compost.